it's lunchtime and we're still here because it's so misty and we're a bit apprehensive about driving down on that scary road with zero visibility. So we were just making a spot of lunch and the local cow herder came over to visit again. He's very friendly. This is his sort of spring and autumn home area. In summer he goes up to Zoti Kelly and in winter he's down in Kulo. Here he comes. <laughs> he like grabbed one of the bowls from our kitchen and he's run to get some uh, fresh milk for us and some bread. Here he's coming. <laughs> Mad Loba! Sorry, Smetana, not to Ah, 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 Ara chama ara. Padara, padara assi, kusoki mo tafa. Ah. Pull off a little bit and down. Mo tafa. Aha, what amu? Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Das es qvelis rom miatanu akhla tandatan, qveli kargi yom. Es tandatan. Magarom shechama gi shechami. Mhm. Hab das too. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> it's like a really classy cheese string. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Oh. Mm. Have all of it together. Mm. Ah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> he reminds me of someone, but I can't think who. Oh, drop a bit of cheese. I think it's like a little bit like Leon. Leon who? Uh, like Leon the film. <laughs> Jean Reno. I'll drive forward. <laughs> Take two. Perfect. We've got a lot of rain. We tried to uh, drive up the mountain road and camp by a river a bit further along, but 
it was just too heavy and it didn't look like a good place to camp. So we came back next to the um, old house that we were exploring. It's not too bad around here. A little bit dirty. We're looking at a toilet, but it'll do for the night. Not too bad. It really <laughs> sucks. It'll do the job. It's yeah. a practical campsite. It's an e-camp. plan for today. Uh, we want to drive up uh, a side valley towards Kikani Fortress, maybe hike up to the fortress and then there's an off-road track that goes through sort of high alpine pastures through the Yailas, the summer settlement pastures, which I'd really like to do. We're scouting it out on Gaia GPS just now, but it's the end of May and it's still a bit early to just be taking it for granted that we can go on all of these routes. I just phoned the Ajara Tourism Board to ask about it if it's possible. She says she's going to phone me back in 20 minutes. So hopefully she's getting uh, some insights from local families up there to see if it's possible or not at the moment. Uh, by car, four wheel drive car from Bako to Chiruki. It was all a little bit confusing, but I think we've been given the go ahead for that route, so we're going to head off now. That's just from yesterday. Yeah. Oh my god. now and then we will hike up to Kikani Fortress for some fabulous views of mist. Uh, it should be a fairly strenuous hour-long hike up a very steep hill and it's going to be very rewarding I am sure. This is when I start to regret eating all the cheese and drinking all the wine. Yeah. Oh, look at these lovely flowers. I think it's mostly the lack of exercise for six months. barely see anything. Was it worth it, Del? Was it worth it? It's always worth it.
We decided against driving over the Alpine Yaila's route to Chiruki yesterday from Kikani Fortress. The border guards told us it was too dangerous at the moment, there was still too much snow on the road. So instead we got in touch with Jonas at Glamping Tago and asked if we could come and park up here for a couple of nights and he said, yeah, sure, come on over. And this is where we are, it's amazing. The views are absolutely incredible up here, just looking down the valleys in both ways. It was great to wake up this morning and actually get the views, of course, because true to form, <laughs> we arrived in the dark. Uh, it was a bit nerve-wracking coming up that narrow, twisting track, uh, not knowing where we were going, yeah. but we got here safe and sound in the end, rather tired. Yeah, and then Jonas was like, oh, come and sleep in one of the tents, you don't need to sleep in the car. So we've had a posh night in the glamping tent and we'll have another one tonight, which is pretty great. The place is still under construction just now though, so the toilet and shower block is still being built right now as we speak. Um, so later on today we're going to go down to a local guest house and uh, have some lunch there and get a hot shower our second shower of the whole trip and our first hot shower. About to leave Glamping Tago on this beautiful sunny morning. I am going to take the fun way back down to Kulo on the cable car and Del's going to drive down. Pretty sure I'm going to beat him because it's only meant to be eight minutes in the cable car and it'll probably take him about half an hour to drive. So uh, yeah, we'll make it down there, pick up some groceries and stuff and then we're going to attempt the Gadurzi Pass and the Zuccari Pass. Uh, Geo Road still says it's closed but the local tourist info in Kulo says it's definitely open so I don't know what they're going on about. We're going to try it anyway and see what happens.
want the last one in or not? Might as well. Might as well.
Just needing that today. We camped here at Showery Reservoir last night and we always figured we would spend our very last night with the Hilux here but it is looking like horrendous rain tonight like the most amount of rain we've had on the trip so far and it didn't seem like a good idea to stay here so we were trying to come up with a different plan and we were like hmm we're only 50k shy of one of our very favorite guest houses in the whole of Georgia so why not just go to Oni and enjoy some delicious food catch up with the guys there so that's what we're doing we've spent the morning pretty much just packing everything up so that we're good to go tomorrow finishing off the last of the cheese and it turned out there was about a third of a bottle of wine in the fridge and seeing as Dell's got to drive that's fallen on me to polish that one off so 11 in the morning I'm kind of a wee bit merry right now cheers to that dreaming about the food at this place for months. We first came here in September last year in between our Swinetti and Bordomi hikes. We arrived just in time for their annual winemaking session and so we got to help out with the wine last time and now we finally get to drink it. This is quite exciting. This is the most exciting part. Cheers. 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 Mm. As if I've not already had enough wine this morning. It's just going to be one of those days. Right, let's get stuck in. Mm, delish. Oh, that meat just melts in your mouth. It's too showy. Mm. It just looks like bark. Mm -hmm.
so happy to eat pancakes with Matt's onion jam again. They probably would have arrived for breakfast anyway, but just in case I put in a special request last night just to make sure they were here. Oh, so good. Time has come for us to finally head back to Tbilisi after three amazing weeks with the Overlando Expedition Camper. Finished off with a delightful night here at Family Hotel Gallery in Oni. We will no doubt be back again for a third visit in the summer. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the series and we'll see you next time. Cheerio. See ya. Up to make a bed. Yeah. And uh, the roof goes up, but the tree is there, so. What are all these? Oh, here. Yeah, so.